Hello everyone. I wanted to just say, do I think that the ER210 is a good radio? Well, I want to uh, tell you guys some features on it. And I want to tell you what if this radio is a recommendation or not. So, I might as well get started by saying it is a comfortable thing to hold. And um, it is a very nice radio indeed. It has a hand crank on the bottom. Uh, here it is. Actually, no. It's right here. And uh, it's also got a flashlight. A solar panel on the top. Here's the flashlight turned on, by the way. Um, and this is actually a very nice flashlight. I use this on tons of different things. You can eat... Um, you may be able to see a lot of dust there that I'm going to have to clean up soon. But... It's a very good flashlight. It's very bright, very, very awesome. So you can see a lot with it, and it even comes with an SOS light. So this is a very nice indeed, just as a flashlight. And um, the radio quality is good. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm going to turn this off down. But yes, the speaker on this thing is not the best, I would say, but it's okay. Uh, it's better on more better on the weather radio, I'd say. Um, I'm going to turn this down to 91.3, which is WHQR. Okay, now they're playing jazz right now, actually. Let's get a 106.7. Uh, 106.7 WFDT. Now, the reception at first it looks bad, but that's because they have the antenna locked in. Normally, it's not that bad. So, um, just know that. It's a, it's a good radio. Also, a turn on and off weather radio button. Here's the weather radio. Self. Here's the KHP 31. Here's the AM. Good AM reception. It's okay. The reception is not too bad. Um, see how it gets in the station. Uh, currently, I'm scrolling right now to. Um, 1500 WFDB. There's WLAC. There's the BCKY. Good thing you pick up a new camera. Spacious. There's the BLW. Seven six WJR in Detroit. This is my station, WAB. Here's WBZ Boston. K to K A, Kansas Bay FM. Here's WTAM. Here's the BBT. Here's WLVA. I think this is WBBR. WBVA. WPHT. Not much in this area. Back to the corner, it'll go. Might be able to pick up the B to B KB. Maybe FME is not coming out on this way. Yeah, the F the AM though. It does well. It this radio. I think 
it's recommendable, especially since this is also considered as a camping radio. It's a good radio to take around with you, I think, as well. I mean, this radio's got a lot to it for taking around. I mean, I know it is compared to a lot of radios, like the Eton Elite Traveler, but this ha that doesn't even have weather radio, but it does have shortwave. So it, this is kind of, ER-210, kind of a comparable thing to the Eton Elite Traveler um, um, in terms of taking it around with you. This radio is good, though, because it has no weather radio. Um, it has a nice flashlight that the, the Elite Traveler doesn't have. Um, the thing that does, the Elite Traveler has a temperature sensor, this one doesn't, but this one, um, doesn't actually have the lastest, bat the longest battery life, so it needs recharge, but it is still nice that it can be recharged, but the Elite Traveler, you don't really have to change batteries that often, so, silly, but I do think it's a good radio, nice flashlight, um, the chargers, um, work as well. This red light would light up if you had it charged. It comes with a lot of things to keep you safe. And even it has a phone char it even has a USB port, I forgot to mention that you can actually charge your phone in this thing. So this thing is very useful, especially on the go. I would recommend this radio with all the nice features it has. So um if you're looking to find one of these, please go get one. It's very nice. Um or you can get the ER ten VP. The ER-10VP is a lot cheaper and similar to the ER-210. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get an ER-10VP, but I do hear it's a nice radio. Maybe you guys would get one, but... Um, or you can go crazy and get the ER-310. The reason why I'm saying that you're crazy to get the ER-310 and not the 210... The 210 and 3... The 310 is a good radio, but for, for the features it has... Be ready to pay $60 on something that is not compared to the WR300, which the W300 brand new costs $60. You could probably buy a used one for five, for heck, even five bucks though. I've seen some WR300 used for five bucks, and there's no, e there's like no ER310s that are that cheap. So be ready to be crazy to buy, crazy enough to get an ER310. But the ER310 does have some nice stuff, but it's not that worth it compared to getting a $60 on something like a WR300. I mean, well, this can be carried around, but you could carry around any other radio, really. You honestly could carry around any of the other ones if you just put batteries in it, so really, kind of a, kind of a feat. But otherwise, yes, this is a recommendation. I would go get one, and, uh, yeah, she, uh, and also, sorry, when I was AMDXing, well, the SBC Aerostook. There's no stations in Maine. I'm sorry. And, uh, also, yeah, also, um, I wasn't really able to get any of the SVRs that were going on in Pennsylvania. Um, I would if I could. Um, uh, I see the walk that SBC Mario got on WKDN somehow. I didn't even know they owned that stuff. I probably could have tried to get that, but I didn't. I'd like to get an alert on... Um, DXing on this ER210 at some point, or an RMT, but anyways, that's gonna conclude the video, and yeah, bye-bye.